Welcome back to Eastern Plains of Colorado here on McCaffrey Farms. Going to be doing a little bit more groundwork here. Going to finish up the field cultivating where we left off from the other day. And then uh, going to hook up to the old 75 sweep that we used to use. Pull it at home. So hope you enjoy the video. If you do, give it a like. And if you enjoy the channel, be sure to subscribe. As for now, though, let's get to the video. And thank you for watching. a little wet right there just 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 a little bit haven't got stuck yet though came close a couple times we haven't got stuck yet though so we're spinning good now it's done that a lot I've got the tractor spinning a decent amount of times because there's just random spots it'll be just a little bit of cover and it's just wet soft I haven't got stuck yet. We're almost done. I'm gonna be heading down to uh, Caldwell's, a little way south. We're gonna do that one, then I'll, I think that's the last we're gonna do with this. And then I might go hook the 7.5 sweep up at home, depending on what dad has to do yet. I'll hook the 7.5 up and do start at the house, and then we'll have one of my circles that I need to work, and then uh, we'll We'll be done with farming this round and uh, we'll wait for the next time see what we need to do but uh, we're getting some groundwork done and we're getting pretty close to being done with this round so let's finish that up all right so I'm just getting ready to leave the field and I'm heading down the trail and I'm coming by some of my millet I just wanted to show you guys how well it looks. Um, if you saw the last video, you'll know that uh, I got some pretty bad hail. But uh, this circle and the circle to the south, like I said, both of them came out of CRP, worked it up a couple times, planted it, and I really wasn't expecting to do much. I mean, I always said that if it was good enough to harvest, I'd probably consider it a success. Especially this circle, or when I finished drilling this circle and started that south one. Got a bunch of rain, real hard, fast, and hail just pounded the crap out of the ground. Crusted really bad, and I had to rotary hoe it. Looked like crap. Um, this is a field now. I do have some weeds some a little bit of grass which is to be expected um it's pretty clean pretty clean i haven't used any chemical on it uh said i messed up should have used organic seed got a certified organic where it came out of crp i uh, could have made a heck of a lot more money on it but um there's spots it's pretty dang near waist high and i know there's it's fairly even some hilltops are shorter but this is this field it too has been through it's been through a lot and uh it's looking really good so uh see how well it does um i'm not sure what the actual population would be it was supposed to be around 12 pounds but i think it was drilled closer to 10 and a half or 11 and I mean, you can see there's some spots where it's a little thinner. Uh, just didn't come up. It didn't all come up, which is to be expected. But this is some beautiful looking millet. I don't know how well it's going to be. I mean, it's going to be a good crop. But that circle's a little shorter over there. But I just, for the hail it got last few weeks and how bad it looked after getting crusted just my mind is blown at how well it looks and i have very little in this field because this i literally have seed which all together the seed costed fifteen hundred dollars and i don't have any fertilizer anything in it 
because at the time when I put fertilizer on, this one looked like absolute crap. So I said, not do this one because I didn't want to put any more money into it, but uh, it's probably going to be the best field. Um, I mean, like, just, just look at that. I am shopping for something specifically for this crop, more for harvesting. Uh, hoping the end of this week I can go pick it up. I have it marked through them as sold. I gave them my information so that they could put it. It's nothing special. It's a pickup head. The way we're going to do it is with the Draper, the 936 that we have for wheat and Milo, we can make it slide over and lay a windrow with it. So on this circle definitely and hopefully that one to the south uh, i'm going to be able to wind windrow it lay it down uh, when it's like two-thirds yellow i think and then come in with the pickup head that i'm looking at and hopefully going to be buying and not have to spray kill it or anything the one to the east it's really short um, i'm gonna have to spray it and use the normal wheat head and straight cut it but i can't get over how good it looks for being in crp and getting the hail it did so it's a good looking crop and the price isn't too bad i'm not sure what it's at right now millet's traded goofy because it's literally like eastern colorado i think two people in kansas is what i've always heard grow it and then a couple people in nebraska a pretty regional crop and so it's traded goofy compared to wheat and corn and soybeans and everything but i think right now it's fairly decent price so that'll be nice considering i don't have much in this crop as a whole for starting near 400 acres so yeah i just wanted to show you guys what it looks like because i never expected any of these crops coming out of crp to look very good and this looks awesome so that's nice all right it is 6 40. got the uh last field that we're gonna do with this done uh dad's way over there sweeping on the half section and uh, i'm heading home I'm gonna stop and get the pickup, run it over to him. He'll take me back up to the tractor, so in that way, he'll have the pickup here. Um, this is how we have to get to our field. Uh, this is our second cousin, not really sure what the relation is. There's like a eighth of a mile to get to the field, probably not even that. Um, just have to go right along the fence, or uh, if they have crop here, uh, there's a gate there and a gate in the corner of the field that we can go through if there's a crop here, but we've always, we've had this stuff for three years and if there wasn't a crop here, we've always just went right along the fence because we can stay pretty much mostly out of their field. Then we have basically a mile worth of trail to go down and it's, it doesn't look like there's much trail but that's because it just massively drops. So uh, that's cool. He's probably gonna be farming most of the day on that 320 acres. Uh, he's only been down there a couple hours and uh, we need to get the circle at home and the corners worked. And after we get done down there, I have a circle that will have to get worked with that sweep. So gonna get the 7.5 hooked up just try and get it done a day sooner all right back to the tractor when got dad he's gonna head to Seaver and get some oil for the well on the county line some drip oil I'm gonna get this taken the rest of the way home don't have too far to go and uh, try and get it set up tomorrow for the sweep because it's going to be 8 o'clock time I get home. Um, took a, takes a little longer to run with this tractor. I've only been able to be going in ninth, which is five and a half. I would have liked to have been going in tenth to get like six and a half out of it. 
but uh, it's just it's getting a little too warm. There'd be times I'd have to stop and let it cool down, which didn't really want to be running it that hot. But if I ran it at night, that ran about straight up where it normally does. So just had to sacrifice a mile an hour and uh, take a little bit longer. But I feel took a little longer just because it had to go slower. But we're heading back home now, and uh, in the morning we'll start sweeping with the 7.5. All right, it is now the 9th of August, which is Tuesday, August 9th. Um, a little later in the, in the morning, but getting ready to get this sweep ready. We, I had to run up to Akron to Justin's house to get this cylinder because he was going to pull a 7.6 Flex King sweep, but our Uncle Matt borrowed a cylinder off of that sweep. And when they brought it, when Uncle Matt brought it back, said that it was leaking really bad. So they had to come get this one, and we need to get this one ready. So. We should have all the parts now. Just have to throw it on. It is an up and down cylinder. It goes right here. So we just gotta put the pins in, hook the hoses up, and we'll be good to go. Then just have to raise it up and pull it out of the weeds. I'm guessing I'll have to air some tires up and uh, then we can go from there. I'll have to grease it. Then after lunch, uh, Probably gonna start on the four corners over there, but then probably once I get that done, get started on this field. If there wasn't, you can kind of see streaks of bigger weeds. Those are all bigger pig weeds that didn't die as well last time we worked it. And if it wouldn't be for that, we could have used a field cultivator again on there, but they're just big enough. I don't think the field cultivator would have worked on it. So. While we have, since we have two tractors and this sweep's still in good enough condition, we're just gonna hook it up real quick. Get these last few acres done while dad's working on the 320 acres. It's gonna take him at least the rest of today. And if he gets done today, it's probably gonna be late enough. Not really gonna wanna move the tractor back. So figure we'll just get this one ready. Get most of this done. If not all of it, time he's done down there and we can go from there. So we're gonna get this put on, then we will unhook the field cultivator and get backed up to this. I believe I found a problem. Got this one on just fine, but lift it up. All right, so I was able to get it on. Um, time I, once I took these off, I was able to pull on and some oil just came out of there. But I just need to tighten these hoses up and get this stuff thrown away, dealt with, and uh, get the tractor over here and get this all greased up and ready to go. All right, so now the only thing will be making sure I have it hooked up right. I should, because the top one of the hoses where they go to the cylinders, the top one goes to the back. I have the top one to the back. Bottom one goes to the front, bottom one goes to the front. We'll see what kind of mess we create uh, when we go to lift it up. One will probably go up and the yellow will go down. I guess we'll see, but I'll get this stuff put back in the pickup and get in the tractor. For now, I'm just going to leave the pickup here by the sweep because it's been at least a year since we've pulled that. Like I said, that thing's set up for anhydrous and we've done a couple acres here and there the last year or two that we haven't been using that one. 
because the uh, 7 6 isn't set up for it yet. But uh, most of the time, we've always had the air tires up to, when it's been sitting for a while. So I'm just counting on the fact that I'm going to have to air them up. But maybe I'll be surprised and they'll be fine. But uh, I'll say before we do any more acres with this, we're going to have to change a few of these because that's, that's pretty narrow. And there's a few others that are the same way. That one's getting pretty, pretty worn. That one is too. There were some that we didn't change because they were practically brand new. Mostly in the middle main frame. But for now, we're done with this. take it out until you're done but got it hooked up just had to use the hydraulics and the movement in this hitch we can take these bolts out and slide it and between that and the hydraulics that's how you have to hook this one up by yourself because this hitch will move up and down and it's very loose on that movement so if there's if you don't do that then it just hangs down so you have to get it lined up pretty good and move that hitch over get the hitch at the right level hold that deal up by yourself and then move the hitch back over that's how i've always had to do it and it works good so like i figured i see multiple tires that look flat so i'm gonna pull it out i should miss the pickup I'll pull it out some, put some air in it, and then start greasing it, and we should be good to go. I'll eat lunch and start farming. Well, that puts a bummer on the day. The second I started moving, it must have already been off the bead. Other than that, I think there's only one other tire that's, that's low. So that's a bummer. All right. We may still be in business yet. Uh, just out of curiosity, I put air to it. And uh, it's seated back on the beat. So I'm gonna take this up to the uh, shed on the dirt, or probably not quite to the shed. I'll take it somewhere onto the dirt get some of those tumbleweeds cleaned out get air put in the rest of the tires get them all to 35 40 pounds and grease it and get going from there still need a little air in that one but other than that everything looks good so i'll walk back out get the pickup 
That feels nice. All right. We are ready to go. I'm gonna fold this up and go to one of the farther corners. Um, pretty ridiculous outside. It's like 85 degrees and um, at one point I think it was still 50% humidity. It's ridiculous. It was awful outside getting this angry stuff. But uh, I think it's good to go now, so I'll head over to the one corner. I'll get this auto steer set up for this sweep. We haven't pulled this sweep yet with the new auto steer, so just have to get the measurements in for some of the stuff with the hitch and the width, and that uh, will be good to go. Start knocking out these corners. If we could have got to this about a week sooner, we probably could have used a field cultivator on it, but there's enough of the bigger pig weeds that um, they're, they're just big enough that the field cultivator wouldn't take care of them. And uh, there's enough of them out there we want to get them killed. So we're just going to play it safe and use a sweep this time and get them killed. And maybe if we get a rain on it again, hopefully, it's a little green we can go in and hit the field cultivator on everything get a nice and smoothed up for drilling wheat but uh, for now we'll just have to see and uh, get it done if we get it done so be nice if we could use a field cultivator once on everything it leaves a nice level finish and uh, make it so much smoother for drilling wheat cutting wheat and then doing everything with milo after that but uh, we'll just, we'll see how things go. Um, be nice if we get another rain on it. And I don't know, if we get another rain, Dad said he might consider spraying it with some somewhat simple stuff, cheaper stuff, just to save some of the moisture, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, just have to see if we do get another rain, what the moisture's like, how much we get, and what chemical prices would be like, but, for now, we need to farm it at least this time, so we'll do that and hopefully get a bunch of rain on it before in the next month before we start drilling. This corn so far, it's looking pretty good. Way better than I ever expected it to look. This well, it might start out at uh, it might start out at 400 in the year and as we go through the season it drops down quite a bit we have gotten pretty lucky i think what's keeping it looking good is we we have been better about getting some rain and uh it's not going to be any 200 bushel corn that's for sure we're not expecting that like i said we planted it at roughly 20,000 instead of the 30s to mid 30s like what the other circle was since it's an 800 gallon a minute well but with the rains we've had it's looking pretty good I think here in a few days the ears should start to get bigger uh, they should be pollinating by now this week could be a good week uh, while it sucks to work outside it is a little bit cooler than what it has been it's only supposed to be like mid 90s at the most for a day or two otherwise high 80s so now would be a good time for it to be pollinating a little cooler might get a little bit better job done on the pollination but it's looking good we should definitely get a hundred out of it as of right now still got a little ways to go be nice if we could hit a 150 um but yeah it's not looking too bad not looking too bad at all so I got one round made around the corn on this corner and I'm heading back to that. Not for a terrible reason though yet. Um, I just forgot to put fuel in the tractor and I need to get a couple cylinder stops or some wrenches to adjust the depth because I think it's going in a little deeper than we're going to want it. So. Uh, need to get something that I can put on there or turn the nuts on there to get them set better and uh, try and get them a little even more even with small weeds if you go too deep 
then it won't cut the roots like you need it to and disturb it enough and they won't die, which is not what you want. So I'm gonna head back to the house real quick, put some diesel in this and make sure I have what I need to get the depth adjusted on that. Then we'll be good to go. All right, I have some All right, I believe we're cooking pretty good now. I think the spacing's fairly decent on the auto steer now. Uh, I think I've got a pulling about as shallow as I can. I think I've got a fairly good, it still kind of pulls the tractor down a little bit more than I like, but I think that might just be a few spots that are softer and I don't know. It seems like it might not be the most level. It's hard to say. Um, got a fairly decent so I'm just gonna I'm gonna get going and get the fields done and I guess we'll see if if some of it doesn't die very well then we'll have to do something different I guess we'll have to look at it a little closer but for now I think it's pretty good Alright, I about done with the third corner. I was gonna start on the circle, but I guess dad lost a nut on one of the picker wheels or something. So we're gonna have to go down and see what that entails. So I'm just getting ready to leave the yard and uh, we'll see what we gotta get ourselves into to get get that fixed and get him going again. do but it's 12 30 so i'm gonna go get some lunch dad should probably be getting done with his field sometime soon um he got the nut we needed uh last night it didn't work out very well we got two nuts because we weren't sure the size uh the one that was the right size had fine threads on it but the one that was wrong had coarse threads if we could add a mix up of the two would have been fine probably could have got it finished last night but he's getting it uh finished up right now and then uh probably go down and get him because my circle could wait a day or two there's not much to it um we have a few other things we might try and do but for now i think that's going to be all uh if you enjoyed the video be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the channel otherwise thank you for watching we'll see you next time